New Zealand. Located in the South Pacific is the two island nation of New Zealand, which has become one of the top trout fishing destinations in the world. Trout were planted in the 1860s and were remained wild and unmanipulated by man. Both browns and rainbows were introduced and have found a home in this lush country that reminds many anglers of western United States. The North Island is home to some very large rainbows that run out of the lake system of the North Island to the many rivers, and they're basically sea-run steelhead. While the browns of the North Island are there, it's the large rainbows that bring the anglers there. Two-thirds of the population live in the North Island. The south is much larger, bisected by a large mountain range called the Southern Alps. From this mountain range, literally hundreds of rivers flow into the sea, and it's become a haven for brown trout. Many of the rivers are reminiscent to our Rocky Mountain gin clear streams. What sets New Zealand apart from most places in the world is the visual experience, as almost every fish you catch will be a fish you'll see feeding and some of the most spectacular dry fly fishing left in the world today. Let's not confuse this with the prolific fishing of western United States or Alaska, but it's a true test of your fly fishing skills. There's much stocking, a hunting style of fishing. You must find the fish, see how he's feeding, and make the cast with pinpoint accuracy. A good day might be only four fish, a great day eight fish but you will see big fish and the experience will be something you'll never forget. The average size will range from three to four pounds with larger fish going up to eight pounds with the occasional fish going over ten pounds. You know this fish is a lot like hunting Patty. Yeah sure is Jack. You um, stock. Yeah it's just like hunting deer. You That's what's different have... about New Zealand isn't it? Yep. Well, that's the whole way of it, is if people can appreciate that the fish can see you as well as a deer can, you'll catch fish here. That's yeah. right. Yep. Oh, and, uh, look, look, right there. Oh, the yeah. Yep, yeah, there's one, yeah. there's one. That'd yeah. take a dry, wouldn't it, Patty? I reckon so. Yeah, well, we, that'll take a dry, but... We're going to have to forget these up forget, here. Forget those, we're going to have to sneak around and get on his tail. He won't yeah. see us from the tail. Go backwards here? Yeah. Good Correct. on you, Jack, Larry, for seeing Very right. cautiously. Right. It's just kind of, it's kind of back step like this. Amazing how they can see so well, isn't it? Oh, well, they can see you. Right. Okay, you're first up, are you, Jack? Yeah, I'm right. That's right. Right, oh. Okay. Now we've got to get on that tail of that fish without him seeing us. Mm -hmm. He's been he's right up near the surface. Yep. We've got a chance from with that drone. Look at that. Yeah? When you know that cloud had come by. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Let's do okay. it. Okay. We go out there mm -hmm. into the center of the stream, then very carefully go up just on the edge of the rock and where that gravel bar is starting, come right up on his tail, and from about there, within cut there, he rose again, Jack. He's coming back, coming back for a check. You're oh. coming. Hold well on. Ah. First, well done. First cast. First cast is going to be the best, Larry. <laughs> All right, coming back well, at me here. I'll make some comment about the cast later, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> but we got this fish, and that's the most important uh, thing to me. <laughs> hey, you picked the fly. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was such a good fly, he came back four feet for it. Hey. It wasn't wow. exactly ticked. Now, to wait a minute. We're going to talk yeah, about yeah, skill well. here. The skill is to put it as close oh, as yes, you it can without spooking the fish, right? Well, I reckon you had him mesmerized. I'm not going to get to this time. Watch for a while. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, you're going to come over like there like this? Yep, yep. I'm going to come to you. <laughs> well, the fish is very cooperative. He's swimming right there. I hope he sees that uh, land. Put pressure on him now. Okay. There you go. You're going to come right at you, right? Oops. All right. The one thing you've got to be careful about, Jack, with these double rigs is when you're netting, if you make a mistake, you can easily net that dry fly and, of course, the fish will pull out. Because most of the time in New Zealand, I'm fishing by myself here. Yeah, well, that's right. You'd be, um, you'd be well used to it. Or do you, or do you use the beach jack? You would not, uh, no, I like to use net. Whoa, good job. Wow, nice fish. Yes. Nice. Oh, great. Nice long fish. 
you know, Patty, this is one of the strategies here in my fish aren't yeah. average. <laughs> oh, well, they are out here. <laughs> are they spawning now? Yes, they what are. excites That's most of the anglers that go to New Zealand yeah, is the sight fishing with small flies in a beautiful, pristine, uncrowded yeah, river. New Zealand has an excellent guides association and a lodge system which provides everything an angler needs in every price range. A first timer should try to fish both islands for a minimum of 10 days. If price is a problem, anglers can go to the North Island after March 15th to May 1st when the airfares usually drop in half and guide services are at discounted rate. It's important to understand New Zealand is you need to have a guide when you first go there. It is very difficult spotting the fish and you learn, need to learn how to do it. If you are a true fly fisherman and can afford to go to New Zealand, you must do it before you die. It is literally dry fly heaven on earth.